Good morning. Welcome to my channel, W. Shaven. The sun is coming up here in Ontario, Canada, and it's time for my morning shave. I just went out and about, got back, went to Timmy's, scored me a double-double, got it in my Smiles for Miles coffee mug, their home brew. Absolutely delicious, and they're not going to cost you many loonies if you go up in there, eh? This morning, in my nice stainless steel Hendrix Classics and Company bowl, with my Aloha Shaving and Strike Gold Shave collab, I have whipped up Mayberry Man from Denton Magic, folks. You know I love my barbershop, and this is a fabulous barbershop. And I'm going to be finishing off with the matching splash. Going to be starting off with some Gentleman's Nod Fred. This is a fabulous unscented pre-shave. And we're going to end the party today with some Thayer's unscented. In my Carve Christopher Bradley, I have the full top cap. This is an E-plate, folks, and a first-use feather. Let's get rocking and rolling here in my washroom this morning. Just got out of a nice hot shower. Looking forward, I played golf with the fellas yesterday. Gonna get out with my swing coach today. Work on some short game. Golf courses are really nice shape right now. Super green, that's how I like it. I like the trues, to, the, the greens to roll, roll true, eh? Been a good week, lots of broken computers. This Denton Magic, very nice and creamy, this uh, game changer base of Mark's. Now Mark Denton, they're based out of Kentwood, Michigan. And uh, you can check out Denton Magic at uh, DentonMagicSoaps.Company.Site to purchase his wares. Or uh, the Razor Company carries his stuff. Um, you can get it at a variety of places. And uh, really, really nice base. Uh, from the first time I got some of his stuff, I became a big fan. And now I've got four of his sets. Getting ready to get five as soon as he makes some. Makes some. Um, you know, he's, he's a small batch artesian, so, you know, when he, when he drops something, you better jump on it, because if you don't, it sells out, and, and you have to wait. It's just that good, and he gives you a nice 5.5 ounce tub, so it's a big fat tub, and then supposedly it's 100 milliliters. I haven't used this yet. But it's all the way to the top, folks. So <laughs> you're getting your money's worth. We're going to do three passes today, folks. First pass is with the grain. Now, I love this carve on the E-plate. Very, very efficient razor. Just wonderful. And you put a feather in that. That combination to me is just the bomb. Scoop out under the nose. Gonna hit the gym this morning before I hit the golf course. Gotta work on this Molson muscle, baby. I've been uh, drinking too many two fours, if you know what I mean. So Mark, he's uh, Started doing his splashes now, and I'm there just absolutely wonderfully scented. And as I said, this game changer base is, is the bomb. 
Definitely a game changer. Super easy to lather, really creamy. Being real careful with this E-plate. Almost got a bloop, as the stallion would say. Oh, baby, what a great first pass. Wow. Mm. Super smooth post-shave feel, too. I, I really, really do appreciate when artisans take the time to get that right. But uh tell you, Frank, I love this executive hand-tied knot, buddy. This thing is awesome. And Ken, you know, I can't tell you, it fits perfectly in my hand, this, uh, this handle. And this little lip right here, it catches right on the side of my bowl, because I like to bowl uh, lather most of the time. And so it doesn't, I hate soap on my handle. I don't like it. That's a big no-no for me. And uh, so the, the little hand, the little thing just holds it right in and doesn't go into the bowl, which is a big bonus. Yeah, gonna work on my short game today. And we might get in nine tonight. I'm going to see if, if the fellas can swing it. I got a tournament tomorrow with the USGA. And I got to get that. I just got to get that short game down so I can go low, baby. Second pass. We are going across the grain now. I always stick my chin out to kind of stretch that skin a little bit. A lot of blade feel with this particular plate. I have on the, uh, the safety bars, I went all in with my Christopher Bradley. The first one I used, I was like, this is the bomb. And so I got multiple plates. I've got the C, D, and E closed uh, uh, safety bar. And then uh, I have the D and E open combs. And just the heft of this handle, just you, the blade does all the work. but you gotta be careful. You don't wanna cut yourself, eh? Now this is a move that I don't see many people do, but with the way that my beard grows, I always go across the grain on my neck. That's just me. Everybody's beard growth is different, whatever, you know, I'm trying to achieve an efficient BBS and as, little passes as possible just so I can get on with my day. That's why I do the three pass shave. What do you guys do? You do three passes? I do the same thing with my shave at and my straight razors as well. But the scent on this is, is it's a great take on a barber shop. I really dig it. I mean, just super crisp, clean, barbershoppy, powdery, and there's something different to it. I can't make it out, Mark. I don't know what you did, but there's something different to this barbershop that sets it apart from everybody else, and I dig it, man. I mean, it's it's almost like an old-fashioned barbershop, you know? Um, it is called Mayberry Man, you know? A lot of you guys, that show was before your time, but I used to watch it all the time. Aunt B. A 
Wonderful scent on this. Wonderful scent. Now I have not, I, I've been smelling the tub since I got it. I have not broken open the splash. This is still closed folks. So uh, I can't wait to smell what that smells like. All right, now we are going against the grain. I like to pull my skin on this really well. Look at how efficient these strokes are. Getting around the chin there. I got little stragglers that go around my chin and they're hard to reach places. So I like to make sure I double up on them bad boys. This is the catcher here with the E-plate. The fool's pass. Gets you super smooth. Get all up under that nose there. I've been tempted to check out that Overlander, but I tell you what, this Christopher Bradley, man, it does it all. It does it all. I can go down to a nice C plate safety bar and it's just a carefree shave. Got a little weeper. It's bad boy sharp, man. It, it is a Sharpie. had fun on the course yesterday with the fellows we were just laughing and laughing great three passes here super smooth super smooth Go in with a cold rinse. We're gonna close those pores. Breaking out my orange Lancaster today. Sporting the University of Texas colors as they are in the World Series, the College World Series. They lost last night. But that's the way Texas is. They let you win one just to soften you up and then they come from behind and they take you down. Got me some nice stairs here. Oh, you can't not shave with, with stairs. I mean, this stuff is the jam. Great three passes, wonderful scent. All right, I've been waiting for this, folks. Mayberry Man, splash. Give it a shake. Always give it a shake. Some artisans, they use a variety of different uh, butters and oils and stuff in their splashes, so I like to mix it up. Oh yeah, really great scent. Wonderful barbershop scent. Smelling really good. Folks, I'm not really in Canada. I'm in Texas. The boys did some uh, make, poking fun of us Texas boys, so I thought I'd give a little joust back to the Canadian Mafia. I hope nobody takes offense to it. It's all in good fun. I love those boys. I love my brothers and sisters in the Great White North. Folks, thank you so much for joining me on my channel, and I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I'll see you again real soon on Dougie's Shaving.